I literally use this program every day. I wrote it myself in C Sharp. On this channel, I can show you, in fact, I have already shown you, if you followed my playlist, how to write this program. What is it? It's something that I wish Windows would do a standard. It doesn't. It lets me group together uh, directories, program files, documents from all over my disk and then launch them as I need them with the click of a button. Why would I want to do that? Well, I don't know about you, but I have files all over the place and they're logically grouped, but they're not grouped together in the location, in the same location on my disk drive. For example, when I'm writing, say I'm writing about Pascal, I might have my Pascal compiler in one place. I might have some Pascal documentation in another, some projects in another place all scattered all over the disk. I really want to go from one to the other quickly. With this application, I can do that. I just drag on the uh, files, the documents, the folders. This creates buttons and I launch them from this launch pad. And I can have multiple program groups so that I can go from one to the other just by clicking a recently opened file menu very useful. I literally use it every day. So why am I telling you about it now? After all, I've already shown you how to program it in another area of my channel on YouTube. Well, I've recently gotten lots of new viewers to this channel. Some people have only seen my discussion, for example, of the Pascal language, and they think, well, that's all I do is talk about Pascal. Other people have said, well, I talk about the theory of programming and the history of programming, but I haven't got any source code. Not true. If you go to my channel, I've got loads and loads and loads of actual projects taking you from your first step right through to a complete application, showing you all the techniques that you need to accomplish that complete task. I cover languages such as C Sharp, uh, Ruby, Java, Pascal, Smalltalk, other languages, D, Go, all sorts of different languages. And some of those projects are really, really complicated. And because I have so many new people that have seen my recent discussions on YouTube, I want to point you in the direction of some of the other more hands-on, more technical, more code-oriented tutorials that I already have. So let me start by showing you this one, this uh, program launch tool. It's written, as I said, in C Sharp. I guide you through every step of the way. It's a project I'd say that's suitable for an advancing programmer, somebody who's already got some experience in programming, but wants a challenge, or if you just want, as I did when I wrote it, or if you just want a useful tool, something that you would find useful, and since Windows doesn't do it, you can program it yourself. Let's take a look. So let me show you what it does. I just click the icon to start it up. You can see that I've got this form with all these labeled buttons on and they've got icons on. Some of them are, well, they, some of them are folders like this one here. So I click this and it launches or it opens up that folder. Uh, some of them are actual documents. Well, these are created at runtime. That's what I really want to explain. So for example, if I wanted to open, let's open this one again and go to, um, I don't know, let's go down here. And so I want to drag on one of these files and I just drag it on and it creates an appropriate icon. And when I click it, it loads up the file. So that's how that works. And I can do the same with, I've got a web page here, so I can do the same with web pages that I browse to. Let's open up a web browser and uh, let me just make this a bit smaller. So let's say that I let's say that I want to go to my own YouTube website. Well, there's the address here. I drag it in, and that again gives me a launchable uh, address. So that's really what it does. Uh, let me just show you a few of the other things that I've programmed. This is quite a, it's a reasonably complicated program. It's, it's suitable for somebody who's got some programming experience already. As I said, when I drag and drop files, I create buttons. So that's another feature that is shown in my code, how to create a button at runtime and how to put on 
an icon, how to find an icon so that you get an icon for Excel, an icon for Word, an icon for a PDF file, and so on, the appropriate icon. So that's one thing. Another thing is how to add event handlers, because when I click one of these, it fires off an event, a click event, so it actually loads up the associated program. How do you attach an event handler at runtime? That's another subject dealt with in this course. Uh, how to delete a button. I don't want this one anymore. Right-click it, delete. Prompted, yes, I delete it. What about if I want to move buttons around? So I want to put this one down here. Uh, and, you know, it goes to the end of the list there, or, or whatever it is. I do that with control mouse click. So how do you handle control clicks, and how do you handle moving of buttons at runtime? Recently opened file menu. Here's a recently opened file menu. So every time I open files, I get a different uh, file menu item added, and each of these is an XML file that has saved the list of icons so that... Uh, when I click it up, it loads up that group of programs, that group of programs or folders. So it saves the configuration in XML file. How do you do that? How do you save the configuration? How do you create the menu? Uh, another thing to do with configuration, if I move this around or change the size and then shut it down, and then start it up again, it remembers my changes. So it remembers I've changed the size of the window and its position. How is that done? There's a lot of stuff in this, and uh, I would recommend this if you're uh, an advancing C-sharp programmer or you want to try a, a fairly, uh, fairly complicated project, which is nonetheless useful. I have lots, however, of other projects, so if this one doesn't appeal to you, go to my YouTube site, uh, by the way, you can find this if you're not familiar with browsing YouTube. Just remember, this: the way to find this is to click the uh, HughesTube label next to my picture under any of the videos that you're watching. That will take you into that area. And from here, you can now browse the lists here. You can browse the videos. You can find our latest videos. Or what I'd suggest is you go to the playlists, because the playlists are, well, they're like, some of them are like complete courses. So you can see I've got one about cross-platform programming with Pascal, one about the theory of object orientation, uh, down to the meta, that's quite low-level stuff, so you want to do bit twiddling in C, and also programming C in uh, Visual Studio will do low-level programming topics. There's all sorts of things here. I mean, I'm, I can't go through the whole lot, but if you've got any interest in a broad range of programming subjects, oh, the complete course of adventure game programming, for example, and if you click this playlist here, you'll see that it's quite a complicated course, a long course, telling you how to write traditional style exploring games. I use C Sharp and Java, but explain how to do it in other languages too. Now, for the programming project that I've shown, this disk navigator this this program manager that i've been looking at in this video go to the c sharp programming projects click view full playlist and you will see a whole load of graded sequential videos explaining how to create a file manager and a program manager with drag and drop buttons how to add the event handlers do the recently opened file menus how to program mouse menus that pop up when you right click the form uh, drag and drop folders, and so on and so forth. In one or two of my more recent videos on YouTube, I haven't shown any code, and one or two people have commented on that. They'd like to see more code. Well, there's a ton of code in this. This is just some of the code that you will see explained when you watch my course, my playlist, all about programming a program manager in C sharp. You can see all the stuff to do with saving XML files, uh, saving the configurations, uh, launching programs, dealing with the XML configuration files, more here about dealing with buttons to delete them, move them at runtime, and so on. So if you follow that course or one of my other more hands-on programming courses on the playlists page, you will see 
an awful lot of code, which I will explain so that you can go ahead and write your own projects based on the ones that I show. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this of interest. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, etc, etc, etc. I'll be back with something probably totally different soon. See you then.